Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. We are going to be talking about some theory behind the Grapeseed today on this week's This and That. So we're going to invite Mikolos on, obviously. Welcome to the show. Ooh, theories. I love theories. Well, this is this is your topic. We wanted yeah. to get into the natural approach and Stephen Krashen, a big yeah. thinker in this space. But I'm going to let Mikolos kind of introduce our, our thesis of the day and get rolling. I love how you always uh, say what I have is going to be like a thesis because it makes it sound better than it's going to be. It, it's, are... a, it's a it's a hopeful <laughs> suggestion that you will have oh, a solid thesis for us. Yes. Well, that's good. I don't want to disappoint people too soon, but I'll go ahead and call it a thesis too. And I do have some ideas on this. And uh, I need to also preface it as usual. I think I've said this many times before that I am not an expert. I am just a guy who listens to listen to a podcast on the topic or read some books uh, and a couple of articles here and there. And I also happen to really uh, think a lot about how all these things have implications when it comes to implementing and teaching grapeseed. So yeah, having said that, my thesis for today is uh, can be summed up in this sentence, embracing the natural approach within the grapeseed curriculum unlocks the full potential of language learning, creating an engaging and meaningful experience that empowers your young learners to become confident and proficient English speakers. How's that? That's pretty good. I think way back in one of the early this and that's, we had a an episode called Why Teach Grape Seeds. So this yeah. is going to be kind of like the part two, a little bit revisited of that podcast, but I think to reach your ultimate thesis there, we need some more background information, especially on crashing and what the natural approach is. So why don't you get into that, Miklos? Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, I do like this is actually going to be a companion piece to that podcast. That's kind of highfalutin language, right? A companion piece. But yeah, it's kind of a continuation on that, on the, on those ideas that we talked about back then and going a little bit further, which is embracing the natural approach uh, when you're uh, implementing grapeseed. So first, though, I don't want to assume that everybody who's listening is is a grapeseed teacher because there are other people who listen. And I want to make sure to give all the context so that everybody who's listening can again enjoy the full impact of my thesis. <laughs> so first, regarding grapeseed, as most listeners probably know, and as everybody else is about to know, grapeseed is a comprehensive language acquisition curriculum that is designed to foster English oral language proficiency in young learners, specifically by providing structured lessons and materials, you know, all the components. The Grapeseed curriculum design, when it's implemented effectively, ensures consistency and progression in language instruction, which ultimately is aiming to create confident and proficient English speakers through a student-centered functional notional approach. That is my way of encompassing all of grapeseed into one little blurb. Is that is there is that good? Is that does that provide enough context for for grapeseed? Yeah, it sounds pretty accurate. Okay, so now to add to that, uh, I want to delve into the natural approach. And again, many listeners are maybe familiar with it. Or maybe, and I'm sure there are listeners out there. You had a recent guest on the podcast who was talking about doing her master's thesis in uh, language acquisition, things like that. And so there are people like that out there who are experts, whereas I'm not. So just to to place a neatly into this conversation regarding the natural approach in in simple terms that we can all uh, easily understand and enjoy, the natural approach is a is a theoretical framework. That was developed by renowned, I like using that word, renowned linguist, uh, Stephen Krashen. And if you Google Stephen Krashen or The Natural Approach or both, you're going to come up with a lot of interesting stuff and some good books too uh, that I would recommend if you can find them. Some of them are out of print now, but I managed to grab a copy of the original version of The Natural Approach and it is a fantastic read. But there's a lot of great literature out there. Email email uh, the podcast uh, to get more information if you need it. So The Natural Approach emphasizes the importance of meaningful communication and comprehensible input and affective factors in language acquisition the things that have you know that affect how you, you know, we always talk about the affective filter so that, that that's all wrapped up in the natural approach and the natural approach goes beyond just simply exposing language learners to comprehensible input i love talking about comprehensible input i do it all the time 
but that's only a, that's only one piece of a natural approach. So this this approach recognizes the value of exposing learners to language input that is just slightly above their current proficiency level. I'm not going to go into it here, but people have probably heard us talk about it before, and you probably read about it some places that you know I plus one. So that that is again language input that is just slightly above the learner's current proficiency level. That's the ideal place to be when you're uh, getting your your daily dose of comprehensible input. And the research shows that comprehensible input used along with materials, authentic materials in the target language, in our case, English, like books and videos, and then your, your surrounding, the conversations that you are in and that you listen to, and the the sounds of the language around you, that they, those things greatly enhance language acquisition. So along with comprehensible input, the natural approach emphasizes the significance of affective factors, the affective filter, right? So that's why we always talk about why it's so important to create a low anxiety environment in your classroom, which is easy with grape seed because how can you have, you know, high anxiety when you're, you know, singing fuzzy wuzzy friend, it promotes motivation and building self-confidence. We always talk about how grape seed is about confidence building. And like we were talking about with the, with the, specifically with the writers uh, recently on a, on a recent episode where one of the goals of, of doing writers in grape seed isn't just writing as a drill. It's confidence building, keeping the affective filter low, because without confidence, nothing else happens. So that, that's all built into the theory of the affective filter. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day. But now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.